He runs a one-man action figure shop specializing in handmade collectibles from your favorite horror, cult, and retro franchises that are more than gag gifts than toys that you'd give to the, ki uh, to the kids. So these are not for the kids, really. His work has been featured on The Tonight Show, <laughs> bought by celebrities, and it is called Death by Toys. <laughs> Creator Dan Polydorus joins us now with more. Good morning, Dan. Hey, Dan. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So, Dan, walk us through these toys. We're told they're not for kids, but some of the movies, you play up some of the movies that maybe you perhaps you saw as a child. Uh, yes. I mean, yes. First of all, they are absolutely not for kids. Uh, a lot of them have words that kids shouldn't be learning quite yet on them. And a lot of them are from uh, movies from my childhood, a lot of 80s stuff. Uh, but they're kind of a play on old uh, action figures that we had as a kid. You remember the banana and the tailpipe from Beverly Hills, of course. Yeah. Uh, walk us some some, uh, some more of these examples here. We're seeing some of them on our screen here. Stand by me. Yes, that went to the guy who played the dead kid. Oh, actually. right, under the and branches. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, yeah, Kent Luttrell, I think his name was. Yeah, that's in his hands now. So. Right. How did this all get started? How did you come up with the idea? When did it happen? Uh, about eight years ago when I was waiting for my first kid to be born, um, just hanging out in my house that's just full of toys, as you can kind of see. And I started painting and chopping up old Star Wars figures for fun because I thought I could make them look like Nintendo characters. And then uh, I didn't think anyone would give it I, or care. And then next thing I know, people kind of started writing about them. People started asking about them. People wanted to buy them, which blew my mind and uh, just kept making more and more. So you have the figures here, and it looks like, did they each come with custom packaging as well? Yeah, most of what I make uh, has custom packaging. Uh, some of what I make is only <laughs> custom packaging, like right. that, what you're showing right now, the fog. Yeah. I mean, that's garbage. It's garbage that I just... <laughs> it's a very lovely uh, rendering of the fog, I think. With the Thank fog. you. My <laughs> daughter was the one who solved the issue of what to use. She had a cotton ball. Uh, she was like two at the time, yeah. pulling it apart. And I was like, Maddie, you yeah. cracked the case. There we go. That's Perfect. the fog. So. Was there a particular action figure that you created that kind of launched this idea? Uh, no, the first few that I made were based on old Nintendo franchises, classic 80s NES stuff, um, and some Atari stuff, and then from there I just kind of have branched out into different things, stayed a little bit in the same vein. Uh, um, looking at the deadbeat dad action figure, yep. Is it just literally the, no nothing. one's there? Yeah, nothing's there, right. Oh, the blockbuster video guy. <laughs> yeah. A favorite of mine, old, old franchises and old, you know, Toys R Us, old chains we've lost and fallen heroes that are no longer with us. Oh, Toys R Us. I like all the, yeah. I'm, I'm looking through some of these captions here, includes unemployment. So here's the uh, dumpster fire. Yeah, the trash fire that I made. That had originally started as a, that garbage fire was a, supposed to be a rendition of my dating life at the time. Uh, <laughs> well, you can and repurpose then, it, right? And then as 2020 progressed, it became more fitting for that. So what uh, what projects do you have in the works? Can you give us a little hint or is it a uh, big reveal? Yeah, you know, I tend to only take on about a commission at a time just because I like to be able to work on my own stuff too and just keep my store stocked. Uh, more this year of what I was doing kind of, or more next year, I guess it's still 2020 because it'll never end. Uh, yeah collabs with a few things that I don't want to quite mention yet. More nonsense like you're seeing there. <clears throat> Mark Borchard and I, he was, uh, there's a documentary in the 90s about him, American movie. He made a short film called Coven and he and I did a collab a few years ago. We have another collab coming out in 2021, which will be nice and just more more garbage that no one asked for, basically. Well, really Dan, cool we enjoyed stuff, it. though. Yeah. I, I liked your garbage, Dan. That was fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it very much. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. You uh, can check out all of Dan's toys at deathbytoys.com. You can also find his page on Instagram as there's well. There's his uh, information. Thanks again, Dan. Thank you.